and it's a line drive to key lime margarita yeah what are you doing just watch whoa hi go for it thanks what about me got you covered hey wow hey 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 lefty o'doul's drink mixes at these fine stores what are you doing i'm getting the girl back Live from the Gold Dust Lounge at Fisherman's Wharf, it's the Will and Willie Show. Life and politics from the San Francisco point of view, brought to you by Lefty O'Doul's Drink Mixes, your bartender in a bottle, available at any fine store. In fact, you can go to uh, the website and hit the store locator. A couple of lousy I'm Paul stores Wells. have them, too. Excuse and me? I'm Willie Brown, and some, he's Will Dirt. And he's interrupting store. me. What? Not just fine stores have them. Lousy stores have them. I mean, I could say Safeway, them. Lucky's, I mean, Bevmo. Some, some I also want to give a shout-out to our Fisherman's Wharf neighbor, the Hard Rock Cafe at Pier 39. Oh, why? Beach, wow. and, and for the whole people here, there's Trey's Beach Blanket Burger, Babylon Burgers. Wow. Beach Blanket Babylon Burgers, Would a someone, dollar of which goes to the Glide Memorial. Will someone please come up and get this and take it to Glide? <laughs> that, That's so sweet. We have some extra trays of Lefty O'Doul's food that maybe we'll send there, but I want to thank uh, Bob uh, Beamer uh, from a Hard Rock Cafe and uh, also the, uh, the people that helped bring it here. No, no, no. Please, I'm going I'm to do this. Wilkes Bashford is our guest. And let's hear it for Wilkes. Yeah. The... Um, all the way from Sutter Street. All, All the, the way, way from, from Sutter. Now, you have lunch almost every Friday with Willie Brown. You know, before I and get into Herb that... And Kane used to be part of that party. Before I get into up that, on the wall there. I want to ask Willie, where are all those guys that he brought in for suits, all those clients, as he was taking them out of the prison, <laughs> and they, he dressed them in Wilkes Bashford suits? I never saw any of those guys. <laughs> he doesn't want them dressed in Wilkes. Yeah, and where'd they suit? go? We could use those guys. JC Pennies. You want you want some guy who looks brutal. Ross when he dressed for up. less. Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. amazed at how uh, nine ninety nine everything. All of you are. Uh, <laughs> including Wilkes. I the never saw value, any of those guys. The best value for a convict, if you want to hold on and get his money as your lawyer, is you take him to uh Goodwill. Joseph A. Bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph A. Bank. <laughs> All right, I was sorry to interrupt you. Let's get back to the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I what? I want to know what that. Wilkes is wearing. Okay, but no, before we do what Wilkes is wearing, uh, <laughs> let me tell you what I'm going to be wearing on Sunday. Oh, what are you going to be wearing? I'm going tomorrow to Wilkes Bashford to get an outfit because it's comedy day. And it's in honor and in memory of Robin Williams. Yeah. And believe me. If you're listening in Santa I, Cruz, yeah. head on up to San Francisco to Golden Gate Park now, now, now. Wait till I you have the show done, now. I have done Comedy Day. As a matter of fact, I have done the F-bomb first at Comedy Day. You were Day the first on one to throw out the F-bomb at Comedy Day? On many occasions. On many occasions. I, 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 occasions. I, I many was occasions. assigned many the responsibility. I'm back, there, I'm back there telling all the comics, keep it clean, keep it clean. And then Willie comes out. The first joke, he's the first guy on stage. Debbie introduces him, and he lays down an F-bomb, and all the comics look at me and go, But you know, I look out there, and there's a whole bunch of brothers, and I want them to understand the <laughs> And you all heard him say he's coming in and shopping tomorrow. You all heard that. Uh, I see. It's on the record now, Willie. <laughs> but Comedy Day is in the park again on Saturday. Wonderful so we've thing. We've been doing this for, what, 30 years? Sunday. Sunday. 34th. This will be the 34th. If you're listening on the radio, yeah. that's today. Yeah. And, and Rob, Robin made at least half of them, and Willie's made at yeah, least Robin half Williams. of them. Yeah, Robin Williams. Not only that, they let me open the show. Yeah. I, I've gotten to perform yeah. at Comedy Day show. when I was doing mornings a, in San a, Francisco. A terribly mm -hmm. ungifted <laughs> comedian <laughs> who only has comedy looks opening the show. It's yeah. <laughs> Now, well, you, you, you threw out more than F-bombs, and we had a guy back in the studio when we were doing mornings on 960 in San Francisco. We had to have a guy sitting back in, in the studio. Because you know they have a dump button. A dump button with a seven-second delay or more. Yeah. And I, I'd never forget, because you would just let one fly. You would just say, shit, 
which will be bleeped on the radio. Wow. And, <laughs> and then we'd get off the air, and you'd go, I said that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we're calling back, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you Paul, it, you it know, was always not. important uh -huh. that I established the fact that I was often misquoted. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the job when you were mayor for your press people? What the mayor meant to say was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd fire anybody who said, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> I didn't say it. That's what oh, I meant okay. <laughs> See, that's why I never worked for your administration. I would have gotten it that's, wrong. Right? That's right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, but we got Will Spashford here. Yes, and, on the Will know, and Willie show. And, and I'm in pursuit of a discount. Uh, I've been uh, shopping with this man for no the last discount. 50 years, almost. You've and only been shopping there for 48 years, Willie. Really. Uh, it's not time all? for a discount yet. <laughs> you haven't earned it yet, Willie. Well, Will, what's, where do you earn points? <laughs> You know, when you shop at some of these other stores, you shop at yes, sell like rights. Mileage, and mi don't you get yeah, mileage don't points? You, yeah, yeah, you get mileage points. You can do Amazon and you know, all that kind of stuff. Buy 10 you suits, get, get one free. How do you get points at your store? The points you get are the best merchandise possible, the best service oh. possible, Willie. Yeah, come oh. on. You know, we don't have to give out points. Come on. If people have to give up points that don't have the right merchandise. They don't have any service. They don't have any lights on when you come in. I mean, come on. We don't give out points. You Wilkes, know that. this was not to be an ad. Uh, wait a <laughs> second. <laughs> uh, I'll send you the invoice from Flow yeah, Communications. No, come on. Yeah. <laughs> now, what are you wearing? What, what, Tell us what you're wearing. What I am wearing is a Brioni suit. Uh, Willie Brown actually... Willie Brown actually Warren made gave Brioni in San Francisco. <laughs> wait, a minute, oh, no. wait a minute. I own this suit. <laughs> you own all you know suits, Willie. They told me it was only one. <laughs> Willie Brown made Brioni, and, and, really? and, uh, and nobody that could ever dispute that. But let's get back to those lunches. You yeah, started. I wanted to be like <laughs> I want to a fly on the wall. Well, let everybody, like, like they were sitting in the fourth chair that used to be Herb Cain's, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like if, if we were there at the lunch... Dish some dirt, Wilkes. Well, truthfully, the way those lunches go, Willie talks 95% of the time. And when he's finally... And I'm speaking on behalf of the entire African-American community yeah. in this nation. When he finally... And they are not present gets, at any white lunches in the country. When so he finally gets me? some food in his mouth, the rest of us have a time to say a few words. <laughs> Not many, but a few. Not unlike this radio show. Right. Well, but, uh, yeah, I noticed that. My too. source TV, but, too. But, but this way. lunch has yeah. been going on for 40 years, and there's not much rarer in life than a friendship that lasts for 40 no. years. True. No. Uh, there really isn't. And the older you get, the more yeah. you realize that. Exactly. And, and not only has the friendship lasted for 48 years in our case, but this Friday lunch at Le Central has lasted 40 years, and we don't mm -hmm. miss that lunch. If we're in the city, we're at that lunch. Mm -hmm. And when the lunch is, uh, when we're toward the end of the lunch and ready to have dessert, we, we play dice for the, to see who's going to pay. Uh -huh. Willie cheats, <laughs> uh, 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 and, and so he doesn't win too often, doesn't lose too often, but it kind of works out pretty well. No, no, evenly. no, well, you got to understand. You're I decided after about five years of not losing. Because he cheats. No, it was my dice. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't have to cheat if you bring, right. if you bring the dice to yeah. the deal. Uh, but it is a fabulous occasion. And people literally insist upon being able to be invited. And we don't invite anybody. And there's a reason. There's a reason why we don't invite anybody. One time, I was, we were interviewed by Esquire magazine. And they said, you know, what's your grow, great hope in life, et cetera, et cetera. May I and tell this story? Go ahead. Go ahead. I have to tell this story because I, we, he was interviewed. Actually, it was 60 Minutes. It wasn't Esquire magazine. It was 60 Minutes. Jesus. And one of the questions was, what are the aspirations that each of you gentlemen have for your, in the future? As, as life goes forward, what are your aspirations? 
So each of us gave, you know, some, some aspirational thing, and it came to Willie. And Willie's aspiration was to outlive the other three of us and do our <laughs> memorial service and eat there alone on Friday. <laughs> oh. That's is, our friend. Which is what every one of those bastards were thinking. Yeah. Wilkes Bashford, our guest on the Will and Willie Herb show. Kane and down. MySourceTV.com <laughs> is where you can uh, see the video. They're shooting it. And WillandWillie.com, 24-7. Once we have run the show on Sunday, then the archives are there. So this is going to be there. It'll outlast all of us. It'll be on the Internet after all of us are gone. It will not last Willie, but the rest of it. <laughs> Well, have you seen a change? Because when I first got to San Francisco in 79, people were still dressing up a little bit. And it, it seems like you go to a good restaurant or something these people days. People don't wear ties. And remember Danielle Steele said that yeah. thing that nobody dresses up? You know, up but in all, in all uh, reality, we went through a period of Dress Down Friday, which is one of the worst things that's ever happened to Casual mankind. Friday. Tumbleweeds going through the Wilkes-Bashford store on Fridays. People are dressing up again. Believe it or yes. not, uh, younger Money. folks are finding that it's fun to get dressed up. And mm -hmm. I'm talking about folks in their late 20s. I'm talking about people in Silicon Valley. And once what happens is once young folks get dressed up again, find out how much fun it is, then the older folks follow suit. So there is a strong, a very strong trend toward folks getting dressed up again. Now, in a little different way, you know, it's not the clothes that uh, people were dressing in 30 years ago. Everything no. is more modern. It's closer fitting. It's sexier. Uh, it, it, it's a great look, but people are dressing up again. That's great. And I'm glad you asked the question. <laughs> Gives him a chance. Yeah. When he talked about Dress Down Friday, you know, I became the mayor of San Francisco. Oh, in, yeah. Um, January 8th in 2004, 12.01 <laughs> in the afternoon. And Wait a minute, I, wasn't no, that was the second that. time around? No, the first time. No, 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 no. You no, became mayor in 2000. 2000. Yeah. You became mayor in 2000. 2000. But 96. Let's go back to 96. Let's go back to 96. Uh, 96. And, and, Last uh, century. On that Friday, this is like a Thursday. And on that Friday, lo and behold, a whole collection of people working for the city showed up. Wearing jeans. Dressed down. I wow. sent them all home. Yeah. You could not dress down in my city hall. Your first day in the office? First yeah. day. I sent first everybody yeah. home. I ended up having to answer the damn telephone. Uh, uh, oh, now, speaking of telephones, you yeah. told us Mayor's story office. Once when we were doing it. <laughs> yeah, he's here. You, yeah, when, when you yeah, first took yeah. office what and nobody want? answered the phone, you were there and there were a whole bunch of people around. The phone would ring around. Nobody would answer. What did you no, do? No, they weren't, they weren't doing that. Anyway, I sent them all home. And lo and behold, yeah. one of my guys who became one of the great supporters of me called me almost instantly. I had to talk to you. It was Don Fisher. The gap. From the gap, yeah. yes. He was livid that I would raise questions about that. And at the end of the conversation, <laughs> he agreed to provide blazers and, uh -huh. and jeans. And chinos. And, yeah, and Chino. ties uh -huh. uh, for the uh, interns. And dress Not shirts. Not the Monica type interns, but for interns. Yeah. Yeah, so it was All right. A, it was a, a decent arrangement. By the and way, I'm accepting applications for internships. You are? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, and so is Flow uh, Communications, by the way. Oh, so, uh, I, I so can't do this all alone. Uh, but it's just being the My Source TV. All crew. of my life, I have literally been into making sure that I was always well attired. And I met Wilkes Bashford on the most interesting way. I went down to his store on Sutter. At that time, it was in the Stockton Sutter garage on the first floor. Ah. The Stockton Sutter garage. And I walked in, and I had a couple of buddies with me, and, you know, we looked around, and Wilkes assumed that I was uh, uh, one of those guys shopping for designs for somebody no. else, literally. And I ended up buying one Brioni suit, and I insisted that 
that Breonna suit be tailored that night because I was speaking at the Paramount. And you need to bring the suit to the Paramount to take care of, make sure that I was properly attired. Wilkes is shaking his head. I know here. he's shaking his I head. Because I know what's coming. Uh, ah. Oh, okay. But, uh, but Wilkes, being in that day and age, when he, I didn't realize he didn't have a tailor. I didn't have, <laughs> you know, a guy to do the, uh, whatever you need Not to do. Not on staff. I mean, no. Not I mean, it staff. was just terrible. Anyway, I showed up, and I showed up at the Fairmount with a shirt, a tie, and a pair of trousers waiting for my suit. When the suit arrived, I put the pants on perfect. I mean, it was absolutely fabulous. I put the sh jacket. jacket on, and lo and behold, obviously he had an Asian who had read. <laughs> oh, no. The no. No. The sleeves Six inches were like that. Up. The no. sleeves were just like that. Well, I want to ask you. Sleeves. Metrics, not well, inches. I want to ask like you that. honestly. I never paid for the suit. Well, <laughs> I want to ask you. I didn't know oh. that. <laughs> I didn't know that. I want to ask you honestly. <laughs> after fitting, tailoring suits absolutely immaculately for 48 years, do you think it's proper for him to still go around telling that story that he just told? Huh? <laughs> Come on. Uh, 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 you know, Politically incorrect. I think it's wait, still wait, 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 wait. You guys are here every time. He's a guest. <laughs> Whose side are you going to be yeah, on? Come on. This oh, the guest. <laughs> and I, and I, and I, on that note, you know what? I want to get points. Yeah. If we have a minute. We don't, actually, but go ahead. All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I was kind enough not to mention when he came in that first day, he was in a Nero jacket with an afro. I didn't mention I that. I remember. I've seen pictures yeah, of I that. I did not mention that. Uh -uh. And then he tells that story. That photo he has of that is Photoshopped. <laughs> Back when there Never was no happened. Photoshop, ladies Never and gentlemen. Happened. Wilkes Bashford, let's hear it for him on the Will and Willie show. Uh, hang out because we're going to do a QA and a and someone might have a question. And uh, we have Amber Lee from KTVU to ask some questions about Ray Rice, and we'll bring John Burris back in as well. I'm Paul Wells with, Wells with Will Durst and Willie Brown on the Will and Willie show, live from the Gold Dust Lounge at Fisherman's Wharf.